let's look at task 1D from the 2024 NAT5 admin IT paper. And it's telling us there's been some issues with some deliveries. We've been asked to create a report showing all items ordered after 28th of April from suppliers 106 and 108. It goes on to say, show the supplier name, contact name, phone number, item and date last ordered in that order. So that's how the report is going to look. We're also being asked to sort in order of date last ordered, showing the most recent firsts, and then in alphabetical order of item. And then we have to then go on to put a suitable heading and a logo into the report. Now, you'll notice here the word report is mentioned quite a number of times. But how do we get the information for that report? Because it's for items ordered after a certain date and only from certain suppliers. So in fact, we need to do a, a query first to find that information and then turn the query into report and make sure everything is in order and sorted in the right way. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a query. So let's go into create and then we're going to go into query design. OK, now what tables do we need for this report? Well, you know, I'm just going to take both of them across just now, just so we can then work it out from there. When you're asked to create a report, even if you're doing a query first, I think it's a good idea to set up your query in the order of the report, if that makes sense. We know we have to show the report as supplier name first. So in my field, I'm going to show supplier name first. So in my query there, right? I'm then going to show the contact name. We'll go title, contact title, contact first name, contact surname. It's going on to ask that we need their, um, their phone number. And I'm switching to the products table now. Then it's got to show the the item there. I'll just move that along so you can see that. Oh, bring that down again. Item there. And then the date last ordered. So that actually is how the report is going to have to look. And let's just run that and let's just see what that uh, what that looks like right now. Now, clearly, we're having to search this table for, for some selected records. So into the design view and let's have a look and see what we can do here right there was two things it was asking us to do one is items ordered after the 28th of april so i'm just going down to the date last ordered column in my query and under criteria if it's after the 28th of april we can do the greater than symbol and then it's 28 forward slash 04 forward slash 2024. Now, I suggest that we run the query just to see if that has actually pulled up the correct record. So we'll run it and have a quick look there. And I can see, yes, it's picked up everything from the 29th of um, April onwards. Switch back to design and look at the other thing we have to do. It's only for suppliers. Now, you see in the question, it talks about suppliers 106 and 108 for the query is going to have to be suppliers 106 or 108. And in fact, I haven't pulled that field down yet. We don't need it for the report, but we need it to find the suppliers. So I'm just going to click onto supplier ID here. And again, just to run that to show you what, what, what's going to pop up there in that last column, we only need 106 or 108. So back to design. So in this field, the supplier ID, it's 106 or 108. All right. Now, I'm going to run it just to check. I've pulled up the, the correct ones. Yes, I have. But we don't need to show that field. We had to do it for the query, but we don't actually have to show it. So I'm just going to unselect that. If we run it one more time, you'll see here we have everything essentially we need for the report, but it's just not been sorted yet. Now I've opened up task 1D, uh, the query, and this is what we need for the report. The only thing that's incorrect is we have been asked to sort it by date and then alphabetically by item. 
The issue we've got, if we sort it from here, if I go into date of last order and I change it to show it's going to be the newest to the oldest, that's fine. That's what we need for the report. If I then try and sort item within these dates and try and sort the items alphabetically, you'll see there that the items get sorted, but the dates are now not sorted. So we're trying to sort on two fields here. Now, you may be shown a different way by your teacher but um, the way I've done it for me I find this the quickest and the easiest. So what I'll do I'm just going to remove the sorts just so there's nothing there where we're starting again. All right now if you go into advanced and advanced filter sort we've still got task 1d um, query there you'll notice there there's task 1d filter 1. It looks like a query actually all we're doing is what order do we want to sort here? Well, we want to sort by date last ordered. I'm going to sort by um, um, ascending, so newest, newest to oldest. And then the second sort is we then want to sort within the item and to make sure that is ascending. All right, so this one here is just for the order you want the sort in. It's not a query, it's just the order for the sort. If I go back up to advanced and I apply that filter sort like that, do you see there that we've now got it? Oh, in fact, I've made a wee mistake here because um, I've done the, 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 the dates the wrong way around. So let's just go back into the sort and filter. It's not ascending, it's actually descending. Let's just uh, apply that to filter sort again. And that is what we're looking for. So it's been, it has been sorted by date. Within the dates, it's also been sorted by item. So this is what we need exactly for the report. We've done all the hard work in the query. The report now is going to be very straightforward. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to save what I've done, save the sort like that, and I'm just going to um, come, come out of that, and we're going to be ready for the report. So for the report, create report wizard and it's query task 1D. And because we set up the query um, in the order of the report, we have it there. So all we have to do is the double arrows there because we need all of these for the report and click on next. You'll see there, um, how do you want to view your data? Now, what it's showing us here is, um, it's gonna show us each supplier and for each supplier, every item they've ordered. If we look at the viewing by products, it's actually going to give us um, the supplier for each order, showing the supplier each time. And this is actually what we do need for the um, report. It might not be very obvious when you look at it, what's going to happen here, but it is by products because we want everything, everything in the report. Then click on next. We're not grouping this, so we can click on next. And we don't need to use the um, this sorting here because we've already done it in the query. So we don't have to worry about that either. Just click on next. We'll leave it as tabular, uh, click on next. We do have to give a suitable title for the report. Now I'm just gonna type in here what the SQA actually had uh, in their solutions. And they said it was items ordered after 2804. 2024 um, from suppliers 106 and 108. So that's a very detailed um, title, but it is showing what the report, um, what, what is contained in the report. Click on finish. And you'll see there, well, Almost, it almost looks right, but you'll see with the hashtags there, uh, that's showing that uh, obviously it's too narrow, the column's too uh, narrow, and we can't see all the, the, field, um, the field headings clearly. So a couple of things we could do here, I would suggest, is if we change it to landscape, first of all, that's going to give us more room, and then we can close the print preview. Now, we need to tidy this up. We could tidy it up in design view, which is what we're in now, but I think what's easier is if you actually use the layout view for this one. All right, so switch to layout view and you'll see there that, you know, what we can do, for example, the, you know, there's the a date ordered. I can just stretch that out to make it so we can see everything and I could do the same. 
I've just highlighted it, it's selected all the records, is, is we could, you know, do it that way. So that there's a very quick way to do it. I can see the contact first name doesn't quite fit. So, you know, maybe we could just move over just a wee bit. In fact, there, let's just, uh, I'll do control Z to take that back. I'll think maybe I'll just stretch it that way. And, and maybe that's easier for me. And then move it across. And same with the phone. So I'm just making little tweaks here because I really want the the um, contact first name to be visible like that. So just a wee tweak there. So that's everything that we need for the report. And the only other thing that we need to finish this off is we need to put the logo in to the report header. So I can just go to home. And then we're going to go into uh, design view and we need to put it into the report header. So I've actually switched now to design view. It depends what you think. As I say, sometimes you might go into layout view, sometimes into design view, but I personally find it's easier to add logos, etc., in design. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to stretch out the report footer just a little bit, just so there's a bit more room. You don't maybe, don't maybe have to do this, but I just like just to give myself a wee bit more room, I'm just dragging that down, and I'm going to be putting the logo in the right hand uh, corner of the of the report, or actually maybe just aligning it with the the, the last uh, field there. So the way I would put the logo in is I would just click into the form, uh, sorry, the report header, and I would go into insert image, and I would browse to find the logo which we know is part of the files. So there's the, the logo we need. I'm going to click on OK and I'm just going to stretch it uh, into, into position. And I'm going to have a little look at that and see what that looks like. And that's how we do task 1D.